hospital and coffee mountain climber just finished a great discussion with us uh, at our 2018 annual conference and awards and so Anne, uh, you're uh, you, you run Forte and so tell me uh, well first of all tell me about this mountain thing you talked to us about climbing yeah. well Mount McKinley or Mount Denali but that was your favorite yeah, right that was that was one of my, absolutely one of my favorite uh, there are many favorites but I guess what um, what I love most about mountains they're a great metaphor for life and they're a great teacher and so today we talked about uh, some of my favorite lessons that I learned in all my years of climbing and some of them were sort of common sense but they're great reminders so my, one of my favorite lessons is that um, you know the summit which is the goal we all have our goals in life we're always hyper focused on those goals right but while we're hyper focused on those goals let's not forget that that's just the end point or the turnaround place that life really happens in between the peaks and valleys and so to keep focused on this journey in between all those special events in life, or that job or that vacation um you want, would well, you want, well, i was going to say tied to that you, yeah. you know I, I, you had lessons but you also had these guiding questions that's right so the guiding question for that number one lesson was mm, something the effect of peaks and valleys that's you know, right are, that life so how am i living my life in between the peaks and valleys so I use your right to the point of guiding questions. Questions are a wonderful tool to use in everyday life to keep us focused, to help sort of crack open a new awareness about something. So you can use it in any place in your life. And I love to use it when I'm thinking about the things that are important to me. I frame it in the form of a question. Right. So we might as well, we, well second lesson. Second lesson. Um, well, we all know that people are always changing, right? Humans are adaptable. We learned that in third grade science. Right. But it's really true, even as we get older. And so not to forget that we're constantly adapting and readapting to the conditions we live in, what, what's happening in our life, and to bring that to our consciousness. Because sometimes we're adapting in ways we don't really want to adapt. And we wake up one day and say, how did I become this person? Right. And that's the unconscious living. So how do you bring awareness around to that so and so the guiding question for that to remember is am, am i adapting in a way that serves my life okay am i adapting in a way that serves my life so and then uh, we might as well hit number three number three one of my very very favorite and the one that i learned in one of my most recent climbs took me a long time i'm a slow learner but when i get it i get this it this was your least favorite this climb, was my least recall. favorite climb and what it pointed out to me is that um emotions break or make a climb. Positive emotions and negative emotions and all the sort of in-between stuff, what they bring to the table that's good and positive and what's not so good and positive. Right. Not that negative emotions can't be positive because they used, can serve, right. used in, in the right way, right? And, and they're very real. But so the question becomes, am I aware, am I thinking of my emotions? Am I in a positive state? And is it serving my higher purpose? Is it serving what I'm wanting to accomplish? Right. And so just keeping that in mind. And then you also talked a little bit about the people around you. That's and right. I, th that's I think right. it was something, you know, the five people around you, that's uh, right. you go forward five years, that's who you are. That's right. That's exactly so what, right. So what would be, you know, what should we think about with right. regard to that concept? Well, just that's the bringing back to the consciousness piece also. And that's thinking about, you know, in this consciousness space is also thinking about, and I'm beginning to lose my train of thought. I don't know why. It's just part of being conscious and unconscious. Okay, we can talk about the big yellow thing. We can you know. talk about the big yellow thing. So, but I think emotions are contagious. Emotions drive our life. And, you know, if, if you begin to understand, and we're beginning to understand this in brain science and neuro, uh, neuroscience, is that we can't absolutely control everything in our life, but we can have a lot of impact on how we're feeling in any given moment. So there are ways and tools and strategies that we can be deliberate about pulling out and employing as an intervention. Like, oh, I'm in a crappy mood right now. I need to do something about this. So to that end, you took yes. us through two great exercises yes. at the end of this program. Number yes. one was a two minute uh, uh, storytelling, positive high point storytelling. Okay. Yeah. So it was, yeah. And, and we each told a story about yes. something that you go back and remember that. Yes. What was the emotion? What was there? The sights, sounds, smells, whatever, yes. everything that brings you basically right back to that point. Yes. And so, you, again, you talked about that that is science. That just yes. Says, yes, yes, you can improve. Really yeah. Okay. Which clearly ties into wellness. And, That's right. And, um, That's right. and then uh, you also had a, a list of tools. That's like right. That. Um, 
So storytelling is one of those positive tools. The other is uh, they gave everybody a strength box. So you can collect pictures and mementos and things that remind you of when you're at your best and what makes you feel really good. And this is very different than ego. This is like a different place in the body. You can feel it. You can feel it in the heart area. You can feel it sort of flowing through your energetic fields. And it's just, you can use that box to store all those customized stories. And if you need a tool to help you jerk you out of one of those not so great moods that you can't do on your own, that's really helpful. Well, I know at our table, people were talking about, yes, this is something we ought to have, everybody yeah. ought to have. So 